So today we want to talk about the three reasons why you should skip your breakfast. Now, a lot of you watching are already skipping your breakfast, so this video is not for you. It's for those people that are new to my channel and are hearing the opposing viewpoint where you need to consume a good breakfast. And I personally used to promote that uh, before I realized that's not the best thing to do. Uh, but I had a serious blood sugar issue. I had hypoglycemia. And of course, when you eat, you feel better. So then I had this realization that works so well for me that I'm gonna recommend it even in my earlier books. However, here's the, here's the problem. When you eat, you stimulate insulin, okay? And insulin creates a lot of issues, uh, not just with slowing your metabolism over time, but it sets you up for a, another blood sugar problem. So intermittent fasting is very, very, very important. So the first point I wanna bring up is if you eat breakfast, you're gonna stimulate your metabolism, okay? You're gonna increase your enzymes and all these different activities. Well, what you're really doing is, like I said before, you're increasing insulin. Insulin actually slows your metabolism. It stops your fat burning, okay? So number one, um, eating a breakfast actually will not increase your metabolism. It slows your metabolism. Number two, you're breaking the fast. All night long, you're in a fasting state. You're burning fat. Your brain is being fed ketones, hopefully. Um, and then you eat, you break the fast. Um, so you raise insulin, and now you nullify the benefits of fasting. You're going to actually um, kind of nullify autophagy. Autophagy is the recycling action of your cells. So your cells are cleaning all the junk out of them. Uh, and I'm talking about, you know, especially out of your brain. So all the waste that's accumulating, all the added damaged proteins are being cleaned up. Um, so this is part of the repair cycle. So you actually stop repairing the body when you eat because the body's focusing on digestion, especially in your digestive tract. If you're constantly eating, uh, you never have a chance to repair that. So we, we nullify autophagy. We stop the new brain cells from forming because one of the benefits of fasting is that you, you have neurogenesis. You actually make new brain cells. Um, and you stop the anti-inflammatory effect. So if you have inflammation or arthritis, it just won't ever go away if you keep eating. Um, and then you should stop repairing. Okay, so number three, if you're consuming the typical breakfast foods, whether cereals or orange juice, uh, toast, pancakes, waffles, fruit, sweetened yogurt, that type of thing, wow, what's going to happen is that you're going to create a, a nice big spike in insulin. It's going to come down about 90 minutes later, and you're going to be really, really hungry right before lunchtime. Okay, not to mention craving sweets. And then because the blood sugars now are going up and down, you're going to notice also at night, you're going to crave the wrong foods. So those people that crave at night usually are eating too many carbs in the morning or too many carbs the day before. So just make a mental note of that. If you're not hungry, don't eat. Ride the wave for as long as you can and then maybe have your meal right at noon. That can be your first meal. You're gonna feel much better, and then just add one more meal for dinner, and you're gonna be really impressed, not just on how much weight you lose, but you're gonna have so many benefits of just doing that fasting from the last meal all the way until lunch. All right, I'll see you later. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.